welcome students of class 12 today we are going to do the chapter on the face of it this chapter is by susan hill we start with the theme of the story let's discuss the theme of the story the play deals with appearances and how false or misleading they can be in the play mr lam is said to be eccentric lonely and peculiar yet he makes so much sense with respect to his views on living life and being optimistic he is judged by others incorrectly and is lonely because of that derry's mother doesn't want him to go to his house even though she herself has never met him or really known him in reality he is kind and is deeply sympathetic towards what derry is going through Derry too is judged often cruelly by people because of his burnt face. This does not mar him so much physically as it harms him emotionally and psychologically. Hence, the theme is that of not judging people by their appearance alone. So here, the theme of the story is to not judge people by their looks. there are so many things there are so many other qualities than just the outward appearance of a person the second is the title of the story the play's title hints at taking things at face value the main protagonist derry burnt his face severely because of acid he is emotionally and psychologically marred by the incident the title is appropriate as it asks us not to judge things externally he wants us to understand the true value of a person as a whole being physical emotional and mental so this the theme of the story on the face of it the on the the title on the face of it means putting something on the having an external value of it or understanding just by its appearance not understanding its real quality and here what through mr lamb we come to know that a person the value of a person is made up by his physical emotional and mental status so it is very important not to judge a person by his just physical looks we going to do some short question answers also how did derry's handicap damage his life Derry had burnt one side of his face. He was severely burnt by acid and he suffered an inferiority complex because of it. He felt that people were repulsed by it and he had heard them passing snide remarks. Even his mother did not kiss him on that side of his face. His handicap had deeply affected his way of looking at the world and had damaged him psychologically. So this his burnt face though he was not handicapped nothing was wrong with him only one side of his face was uh, was scum, uh, scarred but this had left a deep scar on him a psychological scar on him and which had made him a very embittered person there was lot of bitterness and uh, bitterness in him and the people the way reacted uh, when they saw derry's face made him hate this world Now we come to the next question what qualities of mr lamb attracted derry to him mr lamb seemed quite peculiar to derry derry is inspired by happiness from such things he hated curtains and enjoyed the rain wind and sunshine he was optimistic and said that it was all about perspective what sounded like a buzz of a bee was a song to someone else so the qualities of mr lamb that attracted derry that he was very open he never kept anything hidden and more, moreover he treated derry as a very normal person not showing not being sympathetic towards him and as mr lamb was himself uh, invalid both of them could understand each other well why did derry insist that he could go back to mr lamb mr lamb had treated derry as a person not as an object of pity or curiosity derry was encouraged not to talk about the comments not uh, to take care about the comments made by others derry promises that he would come back to help him with the apples he wants to keep that promise and also spend more time with him that is why he wants to go back so going back to mr lamb is important for derry because if derry does not go come back to mr lamb this time 
then he will never be able to make any changes in his life and he will never be do, able to do anything for himself so coming back to mr lam shows that derry is ready to accept the world at his at it as it is and he is ready to change his perspective of this world now the next question mr lam says to derry it's all relative beauty and the beast what essentially does he mean by that answer mr lam asks derry what he sees in his garden to which he replies wheat and grass it is then that mr lam tells derry that it who is it who is it who is to decide what is important and what is not he says that it all depends upon people's individual perception a thing of beauty for one while that, that beauty may be a beast for others so here mr lam is saying that it is all relative one beautiful thing might not be beautiful for the other person one beast may not be the beast for other so it is a matter of perspective he is trying to explain to derry he is trying to tell derry that if others look at you and they do not find you good they do not find you nice they do they are scared of you it doesn't mean that you also have to show the same emotions you have to show the same feeling yours has to be different from the others because your perspective towards life and people is different it should not depend your happiness or sorrow should not depend on the others it should be your own now we come to the last question what kind of world would that be which world is being talked of here derry te- answer derry tells mr lam that he overheard a neighbor said that all the handicapped people should live together away from the rest of them in response to this mr lam makes the above remark as it would be silly thing that of to even think of it we all need each other and should show compassion towards all those who feel alienated for some reason and not shun them it was a stupid thought also because they were all capable of living a normal life and contributing to society after talking to mr lam derry realized he ought to be more concerned about what he thinks and feels he should be more curious about the things around him and he and he wants to hear that he wants to hear and see so he says that what are the world that is being talked of it is the world where all the people of the same kind live together the same uh, handicap the same problem with same thing they or they live people of same problem living together but mr lam say that it's going to be very silly because everyone is normal they are handicapped a little here and there but they can all contribute to the society so this was the answer and i hope that this these answers will help you to understand the chapter better and answer the other questions thank you very much